the Rav Zatzal, not in Bar Chutzka, was a Rav of a shul, a Rav of a neighborhood. He was the Rish Koyal for us, a night seder. He was a Mary de Katama Chacham. A tremendous Ben Tyre, with all the Ashkafis of Tyre Lishma. He was my Rav, my Chavrusa, and he was my friend. Rabbeiro took him and he singled him out. And he took him for walks and he would like to smooth us with him and learning and get a clarity in the sugya in the tzvore. What Rebel saw in him, he was a natural brisk in learning. It means a certain gladkeit, a certain geschmack in learning, a certain clockheit in learning. His mind really stole so very much to brisk. He was a big mitzvah in learning, in understanding a, a, a Havana was, was unusual, clear. Clarity and always got the point. When he focused on something, he got to the heart of the Indian. There was depth in his in his mind and depth in his heart. He's a special person. He wasn't the regular yeshivish uh, bacha. Later on in life, we became a rav, and he had to adapt. He had a doubt from being a Shiva Bacha, Rosh Yeshiva, to being a Rav, which a Rav has different responsibilities. He was a Shiva man in, in, the, the, in, in his blood, in Ramach Levom Shasagidim. There was no Balabatish I mean, he is a Rav to Balabatim. That's a, a tremendous koyach. To be able to be all the way up there and still lower yourself to the people that are surrounding and need your hashpa. Just going through all of his life experiences and then really, really trying as a Rav, but almost as a fatherly figure to the Kahila to help steer people in the right direction and make the right decisions, the responsible decisions. From his Torah, his Torah, which he had Gavaldi Garabayim, from his Torah, he developed a Das Torah to give over to all of us. That ability of knowing how to learn very well was Miyasha's whole cycle, that when he would give somebody advice, even in a field that he wasn't, he didn't have his personal contact with, he understood it and encompassed everything and saw all the ramifications, saw all the kaychas and average of the person he's talking to. You saw the Chachme understanding the Balabas. How far could he go? He could only go so far, so talk to him about this, don't go further, you'll, you'll alienate him. After I went to work and I was still learning with him, we were learning for about an hour and a half every day, and he would really make sure I came every morning so I should get my learning in for the day because he knew if I didn't end up learning with him first day that I wouldn't be learning first day with anybody else that day. In his kehila, outside his kehila, he was a magnet for anyone who had any shayla, any tzara, any trouble, because he was able to give them such a chlorkite in what to do in life in a third degree way. He understood the way of the world and people's needs and what was necessary for each individual to grow and flourish in his whole overall life to, to be successful in his, with his abilities. There was a certain honesty and a certain yashras in his personality that that's what you got attached to. You knew that it was not about him. You know, he was Ishashur trying to give you the most Yosher Dika Eitzah that was Negev for you at that time. He was Machazik every younger man, the night seder. He, he saw the realness in everyone. He knew what the tachlis of a person was and he knew what the tachlis of Chaim was. And he brought it out of all of us. You felt like he really cared for you. It was not for any ulterior motives, like that Christian's gonna get COVID or anything else. Your mom felt like he, he loved you, like a father. Any issue that I would bring up with him, he would follow up for months and months and months and years afterwards. He, he never forgot about it. He did not have a zikh. He, didn't, he, he wasn't concerned about himself. He was always in a, in, a, in a very, very unique way concerned about other people. 
he would do anything that he needs to take, you know, stay up all night with a person, make sure he has a panasa, help him get a job, speak to someone for a shidduch. That, that's, you know, he took it very, very, very to heart. His whole chesed that he gave over was mamish neveya from his godless and Torah. It wasn't separate. And, and he knew that a pitoyer he has to give over to the klal, and then for Tzibroch and the mansion, he did it with the zilbe geschmack as he learned the sugya. The Bnosen Borch was a tremendous time with Chochem. He was a big lamb then. He was gebenched with a, a Seichel HaYoshor. It's a pikeach, it's a lump, and it's a glot the cup. He couldn't hear something that isn't glot. He was able to give something over very clear, very glot, and he was able to tour the chesuyim, the clockite, not get distracted and zayt kazachim, and he, he had a big shmack of learning. Not only did he have expertise in the yeshiva shemesechdis, he also had a yad and a clockite. And he used to be able to verse. He was well versed in all the shverim mesechtes that people don't learn. And his tzugang through sugis were exactly the same as the yeshiva shemesechtes. Throughout his years, be it in Edison, be when he was yeshiva in the Bronx, be when he was a rosh koyl by us, the mahalach was mekensech nish opnaren. The vort has to be klor, and it has to be gezunt, and it has to ring truth. He had a myriad of simchas at Torah. He was a of every vart in Torah, and he enjoyed Torah. Every mesech is being learned by Iyun. Every saint is being conquered. Zoyim, Titus, Kotsim. Obscure simonim and shulchanarach are being learned. Not a morsel of Torah is not being chewed over at any given time. He had a way of taking a sugya that was very hard and very schwer and push it, making it freilich. He has glatkeit in his learning with Musameach, the whole sugya. He was able to read a Rashi and just take out of the Rashi every word. The this he brought out from amongst the Verta from a Gemara, a Rashi and Taisus was a nerva. It was always to help us with the sugya. It was always there to be a siyua so we could steig in Torah. The legacy that Rabbi Hertzke leaves us and all his Talmidim and his Kehillah is obviously the Horvanya and learning and the tremendous Madragus and learning. But to, at the same time, to be able to be there for somebody else, to really care about other people, to think about other people, and to mean so much to other people's lives. He had a Murdaka, some Chazachayim, and he enjoyed doing the Rats and Hashem. And he never, he, he never mummed, and that Roshim is everlasting. Zir Shemaya was so real and so palpable and not based on anything besides acute awareness of the Rebbe Hashem all the time. There was like a quiet confidence in his Avedis Hashem. He had a quiet confidence. He didn't look over his shoulders to what somebody else is saying. And that emanated, that emanated because he wasn't focused on himself. He was focused on Vosses, the Rutzen, the as normal and down to earth and practical and warm as he was, he personified Torah. That's that's what he was, and he was our Rav. And we looked up to him. And I think it's uh, very, very, very you know appropriate that we're doing this with a Chalse for Torah. It's it's the combination of them putting together the Achnos Sefer Torah together with his Kila, with the Sefer that's coming out Lezichroi from him from his Chidushi Torah Birchas Nosson. This is all what make up this special person of Reb Nosson Boruch. Remember the tremendous lessons that we saw. Um, in the war of the way he lived his life, the way he treated other people from the Kihila, to other people in general, and what he did for us and the way he did it for us, and to use that in our own lives. And that would be, I think, the biggest Nachas Ruach to him, the biggest Ali and the Shama for him. It's really beautiful that even now, 
There are two Kailim, the Kail that he was in charge of is still Nimshach by his Edim, and then another Edim has another Kail with his name, and it's still continuing his legacy of being able to help out the younger light. The Rebetzin always stood behind her husband, being machshiv his Torah, his Hashkafa, his Deus, being proud, being the biggest fan of her special, special husband. Reb Nassim, Tabad Lachaim, his dear wife, Shani, is Zoycha, Teledor, Vador, Noida Lacha, and Asapad Yosacha, Kinda Tamir Rachamim, Kinda Mabit Zetoyra, Kinda Rabbonim, Rosh Hashivas, Machab Isfarim. Wonderful. This is the legacy that they live on forever. Teledor, Vador, Noida Lacha, and Asapad Yosacha. He is Zichre Baruch. And we should be all be zoicha to be as a goal to see him back with us with Chiyas Hamesa.